Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 88 of Direwolf20's FTB Interaction Series, where I'm looking for a chemical reactor. Chemical reactor. Uh, yeah, but you drain liquids. Do you have a chemical reactor that doesn't do that? Maybe? I don't know. What's here doesn't need to be. Just MV. Eh, I could probably... That's a chemical reactor. He also drains liquids. Wow, all my chemical reactors on the HV line drain liquids into a trash can, don't they? Tisk tisk, dire wolf. Tisk tisk, indeed. This one looks doable. All right, so I want some deuterium in there. Uh, and what am I making now? Mana dust. No, I'm making primal mana, which is ventium and mana dust. Mana dust and ventium. Hooray! Primal mana. Here I come. Uh, so I started looking uh, between episodes at some of the things I could start working on right now, just because I know it's, uh, you know, there's a handful of things that are just like tedious crafting recipes, so I started knocking them out. So I've got myself Empowered Void Crystal, I got myself the Vanadium Ingots, remember uh, I was cooking those previously, um, and Empowered Void Crystals we've made before, so those are easy enough. Uh, now I made myself some mana dust, which is just one of each of the thermal dusts, which remember we have 64, like, we have, yeah, 64 stacks of. Um, so we're actually quite good on that. See, look, all the stuff we've got up there. Beautiful. Um, so that was easy enough. And now I'm just cooking up some primal mana, which we're going to need for the next stage of this craft to get us closer to, uh, Aurelia, which sounds awesome. So primal mana, there's two ways to make it. Um, and I'm doing it the dumb way, aren't I? I am. I am. Uh, I'm doing it the this way, aren't I? Yeah, I meant to do it the this way, which needs helium instead of deuterium. Let's switch that out. Well, actually, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Uh, let's get one more of those dust dudes. Oops, not a whole stack. I always forget, because <laughs> some mods, it's a single click, other mods, it's more. Eh, so whatever. I'll show you guys the crafting that I did to get to this point, at least. So this dude, and you, 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 and you. Yes. Yeah, there's two ways to get the primal mana, and I meant to do it the other way, and then I started recording, and then my brain's like, you want what now? What's that? Yeah, let's just do something else, Darewolf. I completely forgot what I was doing. So, uh, let me go get my mana eggs again, because that actually makes a difference which one you use. It's not important. I mean, it's a little important. It's useful. Uh, so it was a mixer, right? Uh, you want the mana eggs, uh, and the ventium dust, and, um, some helium, I think it is. So that would be this guy, instead of deuterium. Right? Uh, mixer, mixer, mixer. There you are. Primal enriched eggs. Oh, I got mana enriched eggs. Hang on. Which one's primal? Which one's primal? That would be these guys. Hey, quest completed. <laughs> For some reason, that was not already the case. Alright, so let's trash the wrong eggs here. Mana enriched eggs. You wanted primal enriched eggs. There we go. Nice. So the reason I wanted to do that approach um, is as follows. Let's see. So I'm going to take you. We're going to break Mr. Chemical Reactor and replace. And I just need one more Ventium Dust. Cool. Uh, so if you do it the egg recipe way in a mixer, you get two buckets of Primal Mana rather than uh just one ow primal mana hurts primal mana please stings a little bit good to know though good to know though yeah so uh you get two buckets per craft rather than one so you'll see uh this method gets you one bucket of primal mana this method gets you two buckets of primal mana and the only difference is you need helium instead of deuterium and you need 16 primal enriched eggs which of course we have infinite of so definitely worth it to do the mixer recipe approach um i guess you can also get it from infinity eggs but i assume this is the kind of chicken that's like super end gamey yeah it looks pretty super end gamey to me looks pretty super end gamey to me all right so you've got 
that stuff. We're going to get two more sets of those. I might be able to take accelerate this a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Three tick accelerations and it didn't even hurt. Now, the next thing we need to make is dark matter, and that's in a blast furnace. And that's going to take... Well, that's not too bad. It needs EV tier, but I think we can pull that off. And 3,500 Kelvin? Yes. So let's take this stuff out so that you stop running for a minute. And that thing's going to be made over there. In that blast furnace, we should have everything we need. So you come with me, buddy. And now that I'm thinking about it, we are going to have uh, to put it inside the input of that thing, which doesn't, you know, bode well. So what I'm going to do real quick is turn that back into a bucket's worth. He don't mess around, do he? No, sir. All right, so then eight buckets of primal mana will make our dark matter, right, that we need. Because we need four sets of these, right? So that's perfect. So put that in there, eight buckets of primal mana, looking good. And then we need this and this to make dark matter. Nice. Does that have EMC? Like, it doesn't look like it does in here. And it doesn't look like it does in here. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. Because it's like, it's an item from Project D. It should have EMC, right? Like, it's literally like the president of EMC having. But no. Uh, so anyway, we'll let this craft up. So you can see I've been doing just letting this thing run constantly to make this stuff. So when that's done, we're going to have dark matter. And dark matter uh, is going to be used to make void seed. No, I, need, I need it for, uh, for the red matter. Um, with void metal ingots, right? And some life essence. So getting close. Um, getting close. So remember, it's four of these per red matter, and we need four red matters. So we need 16 of these. We get four of these per craft, and we're crafting four sets. So we're going to get 16. And we need 16 vanadium and four empowered voids. So everything's working beautifully. So let's come back in a minute when this is done. All right, just for fun, all that matters. Look at that achievement. I'm going to just try and put you in here. Is that a is that a thing you can... Nope. Definitely does not have EMC. That's funny. All right, cool. So we got our dark matter. We got our empowered void crystals. We got all that stuff. The other thing we wanted to do today was fight the Gaia Guardian. So let's get that going while we're waiting for more dark matter to happen. Right? Uh, so I think I'm ready to give this battle a try. Let's get out our uber ender bow. Um, we've got our sword here, which looks pretty good. Now... Somebody told me that I can enchant these swords, so I feel like I should probably consider that. Should I go get looting and sharpness and enchant the sword with them? Because that would be probably cool, if that actually works, which apparently, I'm just saying, I'm told it does. So if we got sharpness, oh, that's right, I need books. I always forget that this is not a drawer system that I can just extract the item, but I actually need the books for it. Um, but let's do looting and sharpness. Does that sound like a plan-ish? And then maybe maybe my sword here would be even better. So sharpness and looting. So a few people have said you can do this, right? Um, what else is here? Leech, scavenger, knowledge. Leech might be cool. Doesn't that like heal you? And scavenger, I forget what that does. Uh, mobs killed may roll their loot tables twice. Well, well, I don't see why not. You think I can get that on there along with looting? Cause that would be pretty cool. Scavenger and knowledge, I think, means experience rather than item drops, which we don't want. But we'll take leech, which will heal me, I believe, right? Yeah, I think leech heals you. So this will probably be a lot of mana required for this, but we'll see if it's even doable, right? Um, normally, you're not able to enchant um, Tinker's Tools, but maybe something in this pack made it so that you can. So let's try it out, right? So I'm gonna drop my four books. It doesn't really matter where you drop them, by the way. I just kind of like how cool it looks to do that. And then, hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Leech. Looting. Sharpness. Let's just try it without knowledge, the without the other one, right? 
you, you, and we'll do Leech as well. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's working. I swore people told me that you could do that, though. I could have sworn I was told that that's a thing you could do. Let's just try it in the Anvil, then. Uh, so sharpness? Nope. Doesn't seem like you can. See, I didn't think you could enchant Tinker's Tools. A lot of people in comments said you could, though. I feel like, am I wrong? Didn't a lot of people in the comments say you could do that? Sharpness. Looting. And scavenger. Could have sworn people said, like, I should be enchanting these things. It's not enchanted already, though, right? So, I mean, I could upgrade it, um, right? Uh, is there the Tinker's Table that I could upgrade it with, like, Sharpness the old normal way? Yeah, let's see what the recipe for that tool station is, right? Isn't that what I'm going to need? Tool station. Needs a basic work table. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Basic work table turned into from a pure daisy. That is funny. That is funny. All right, uh, so we're gonna want any one of these shovel types. Right, yeah, no, I know how to make those. What I might just do is say, forget about it. I've got so many of these things. Ah, I don't think you broke that fast. Let's just try it out. Because it's quartz that I'll need for, for lots of uh, damage and stuff, right? So can I put you in here? How many upgrades? So you have three modifiers. Big XP boost, completely unbreakable, extra modifiers, prevent them from teleporting, all pretty nice. So why don't I just throw sharpness on it? I mean, I could also throw, maybe I'll throw one fortune and a couple sharpness. And remember, we have some creative modifiers too, right? So I'm assuming it's just straight up lapis. Um... I, I do want that osmium dust, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put that away. Iridium dust. Are you done over here, buddy? Because I want you running all the time. Thank you. And we'll clear that out in a minute. All right, so that's the 16 of that that we need. Um, I need you to autoclave it up with this stuff, right? Thanks, buddy. So you are going to want some form of luck. Nice. And then you're also going to want quartz for damage boosts, right? And that's going to require a little bit more. So that's just going to boost your damage a bit. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more quartz and a lot more lapis. So how about I come back in a few minutes after I get some of that stuff taken care of? What do we got here? Nether quartz dust? I got some. We've got some nether quartz ore as well. Not a lot, though. I could totally get more. Alright, be right back. Alright, guys. All sorted. So I made a bunch of quartz. I made a bunch of lapis. I didn't have to go mining, which, you know, makes me happy. Uh, so that's cool. So at least I can get, like, you know, all the good stuff on this. Nice. Look at that. Even more damage. All around a good time. All right, let's put this away. Uh, let's put you away so I no longer have the slowness buffs. Uh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Sweet. All right, let's do Gaia Guardian fight, shall we? It's getting to be that time anyway. So we're gonna take on this battle. Um, I want to have like a nice upgraded sword, because why not? Uh, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit more damage available to me. Could I have gotten a better sword? Sure. Do I really feel like I need it? Not so much. Done. Now, can I shoot the Gaia Guardian with a bow? I always forget. Apparently, yes. Can't tell which is doing more damage, but it's all good. Man, that Mark 1 Gaia Guardian really is no big deal, is he? I should have made that sure I had this ready. I mean, compared to the Mark II, of course, like, you know, the Mark I Gaia Guardian, pretty tough. 
not easy per se, right? I've got some pretty OP armor going on. I got some pretty OP stuff happening. Still one of the best musical tracks for any battle in Minecraft. Can we, be, can we agree to that at least? No fair being outside the thing. Make sure we kill him. I don't think fortune is gonna make a difference, but make sure we kill him with our fortune weapon. Yay! Eight Gaia spirits. Booyah! That is what's up, folks. That is cool right there. So to home we go. And we'll deposit all our loots. So this stuff all goes away. Anything good? Probably not. Probably nothing too exciting. Alright, cool. So there's the eight Gaia Spirits. So as a reminder, we needed four Gaia Spirits, four Osmeridium Ingots. Did we make those four Osmeridium Ingots already? We have Osmium, and we have Iridium. So let's go ahead and cook up those Osmeridium Ingots. So I'm going to knock Gaia Spirits off the to-do list. Um, you need to be vacuum-free. So hot Osmeridium requires a bucket of helium. And we're going to get four of these from the single craft. Um... And an EV blast furnace with a single bucket of helium. So let's see, do we have any extra buckets laying around? We do. So a single bucket of helium will get this for me. That would be your helium. Sweet. Okay. So Osmeridium was... One osmium, three iridium. Three and one, and a bucket of helium. And you're cooking, 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 cooking. Not bad at all, by the way. Pretty quick to make. And that'll get us our four osmiridium ingots. So that's four osmiridium, four Gaia spirits complete. Now all we really need is void metal. This is kind of the last thing we need. Um, and that's a Void Seed and four Destructive Will. So we've already got our Destructive Will, we've got our Osmium, we've got all this stuff. We're really whittling it down. The Beacon's complete, the Enlightened Clear Glass is complete, the Shifting Star, the Gaia Pylon, the Terra Steel. This is all we've got left to make, guys. So Void Metal, and this isn't bad either, we just need some Vidium Crystals. And I think everything else we've got, right? Just Vidium Crystals. Um, or I could do it with Nether Wart. And whatever this is. So let's see if we can do the Vidium Crystal way, because it looks like it's easier. Uh, it looks easier, at least. Look at me, carrying around hot Osmeridium. Definitely not what you should be doing, but that's okay, you know, it's me. I just do those things. So that cools all that down. Osmeridium. Sweet. Okay, so now Vintium Crystals, you say, huh? Ventium, do we have any of that by chance? Probably not. Probably not. But maybe we can find some. Victus. Vitium. Right. So we're going to have to find what has Vitium on it in this pack that's available to me right now. Nether War usually has Vitium on it, doesn't it? I think, yeah, it does. Another ward. That's what's up. Yeah, I'll do that. That should be enough. All right, now we need four of these crystals, right? Because we need, we get four void seeds per, and, well, we really only need one set. Four void seeds per. So we really only need one Vitium, but let's get two just because. Just because it won't hurt. Beautiful. 
So we're gonna have four void seeds per. All right, so now the other thing we need for void seeds is a block of black quartz and wither ash. So I'm just gonna store this extra one in here. A block of black quartz. So I'm assuming that like all recipes, we can do this, yes. Nice. And then compressor. Oh, it's only four, ha, even better. Even better, block of black quartz is complete, wither ash is complete. And then just a thaumium ingot, which we may or may not have one of somewhere. Oh, good, we do. Nice. So we will request that bad boy. Cool. And you're going to go out here. Now, I might need to amp up my, my will, but we'll find out. Oh, nope, we're good. We're good on will. That's cool. That's cool. And that'll get me four void seeds. Boom. Quest complete, by the way. Wow, look how many quests I have completed. I have to go through those in a minute. Um, but that means that we are very close to making this. So we need void metal, right? Which is just liquid nightmares and a blast furnace. One void seed, four destructive will. So we need 16 destructive will. 16 destructive will. Wow, I have literally one more than I need. That's beautiful. Uh, and then we needed how many liquid nightmares? Four buckets of liquid nightmares. That's not a big deal. We can pull that off. Um, and we'll put that in this here blast furnace, right? Why is there an extra osmium ingot in there? Did I put the wrong amount in? I don't even know. Um, liquid nightmares we have, right, down here-ish. Yep. Okay, so you go in there. You guys do this combination, and that looks pretty cool. And you're gonna cruise. So in total, we need how many liquid nightmares? Because we need four sets of four, so 16, right? Um, so we actually might be low on the stuff that makes liquid nightmares. I should look into that. Liquid nightmares. You get a lot of it. Um, but it's made in a void well with either Nightmare Enriched Egg or Grains of Infinity or Drops of Evil. I don't think we got the Nightmare Enriched Egg, did we? Grains of Infinity. We'll just grab some, just so it like starts making a few more. Because those Liquid Nightmares are actually important for our power production, don't forget. But I think what I had here before was literally I just put things in here and then they went into there. And now they made liquid nightmares, right? So that looks cool. I should get more buckets. Uh, I'm gonna need, uh, I forget, buckets. So I had 11. We said we need 16, so I need five total buckets worth. I think that's the right math. Perfect. So four remaining for the last craft. All right. Now, in order to get this stuff, we're going to need 40 life essence, right? Because we need four sets of these, right? So 40 life essence. And I think that's a hardened reservoir size. So if we go get ourselves a hardened reservoir, we should be fine on that. Isn't that 40? Why, yes, it's exactly 40. Great. Look how fast I'm running. He said, ironically, uh, sarcastically. That's what I meant to say. Charging it all up. Life essence, boom. 40 buckets worth. By now you should be pretty close if not already complete. Yeah, 90%, I was close. Cool, go back to making my osmium and iridium, please. And then you were a chemical reactor, is that right? No, Blast Furnace. Oh, Blast Furnace. My bad. Ooh, it needs an IV tier. Ooh, it needs an IV tier. Ooh, it needs an IV tier. Ooh, we're going to need another Blast Furnace, ain't we? Ooh, that's going to be fun. Or what we could do, hmm, there's a couple things we could do, right? Because um, we do have an IV. We have, we have this, 
right? Now this is this is EV. Come on, fall. This is an EV tiered uh, battery buffer. But remember, every blast furnace, it's the next tier up because you use two things, right? Um, so what we could do is tap into our Enderium cables. Maybe I want to build the blast furnace right there. Does that feel like kind of a cool idea? What I could do is dismantle my existing blast furnace that's up here and move it down there with IV tier. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to need H. We're going to need EV energy input hatches times two, and that's all we should need, right? So EV energy input hatch. We were so close. One, two, and that should all craft, right? And that should be fine. So all these things should be kicking into gear, right? Everybody's doing their thing, looking good. While that's happening, I'm gonna stop you from crafting for a minute, and I'm gonna snag, well, oh man, you went to, well, you literally just started as I stole that stuff. Oh well, not the end of the world. Um, what we'll do is let you finish, and these guys are all cooking, and I'm gonna move this down there for the time being because I don't want to run. What is it? Enderium cable, Terra steel. I forget what the cable type is, but the the uh, I don't want to run that expensive cable all the way up here. So what we're gonna do is move the blast furnace down into the basement, right next to the battery, so that that works. All right, all built up. So now we are at an IV tier electric blast furnace. That means that you can get this. Wow, look at him go, huh? Wait, what just happened? Oh, something weird just happened to the, that's all good. What kind, how much can you store? Oh, 16, oh, that's why, haha, <laughs> cool. All right, good deal. So you're ready to roll. All right, so he's cooking, 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 which is good, which means we're about to get red matter, which, do you know what that means? It means we're ready to go to Aurelia. That is Osmeridium, check. That is red matter, check. That is Gaia Spirits, check. Chorus Flowers, I'm pretty sure we have. 12 million RF later, and we'll be having a new destination. I'm very excited about that. Very, very excited about that. Uh, also, this being a higher tier just needs things cook faster, which is always good. Always good news, right? How cool is that? Just a little bit faster cooking. Now, are you keeping up? Not as much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Lapatron crystals here are struggling to maintain the power, obviously. But, I mean, I think that makes perfect sense. What I'm going to let is the second one cook here, let the batteries recharge a little bit, um, or, or at least keep an eye on them to make sure that they're doing okay. We really need to get our Greg Tech stuff back up into gear, um, but I'm thinking we'll do that after we do some exploration of Aurelia and a few other things. So this guy's coming along nicely. Um, if I was really concerned, I could take accelerate some turbines or diesel gens or something like that. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but yeah, it's, uh, we don't have a lot of Lapatron crystals in here either. I should fill this up with more Lapatron crystals. I've just, you know, been a little bit lazy. A little tiny bit lazy. Hey, no falling into holes. Right? I've been a little bit lazy about keeping up with my Greg Tech stuff. For some reason, a lot of people don't love the Greg Tech content. I know some of you do, obviously, especially the ones who are, you know, still enjoying the series, but some people definitely are not a huge fan of the Greg Tech series, and that's okay. That's okay, nothing wrong with that. Um, so I've been trying to do some slightly different things for a little bit of time, but we definitely will need to get back to this at some point if we want to continue progressing in the old series here. All right, so you go in, that looks cool. And that'll at least make the third set go. And hey, look, red matter, even better matter, quest completed. Wow, look at all these quests. So what do we got in here? Quest, 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 quests. Um, we've got void seed rewards. Oh, look at that. Huh. Remember I did like a whole quest to do those? Remember me doing a whole quest? Well, like a whole a whole ritual to make those things? Remember? Remember me doing that? Remember? Remember? That was a whole lot of work to get those? There, yeah, just a quest reward. Enjoy. I guess I ain't complaining too much. But still. But still. It hurts. Natura pylons. Ooh, I got an extra one of those. Dragon stones, huh? Sweet. Yeah, it's been a while since I've gone through this quest book to see what's handable in. Living wood, okay, yay, super, super excited for that, he said ironically. Uh, system glitch soul, hey, neat, that's cool. What's that go? That goes into the draconic evolution thing. That's cool. That's cool, if I decide I want lots of system glitch stuff to automate, I can do that. So 
that everything in here. Yeah, definitely don't need these things. We have literally unlimited amounts of them at the moment. Um, so that's super mildly exciting. And experience is what I got. Cool. Uh, this thing, red matter. Ooh, we got extra red matter for getting red matter. So we really only needed one, but still it's fine. Hey, a Gaia Spirit thing. And Will of Darhawk. Craft with a Terra Steel Helmet to add the following effect. Critical hit damage increases with lower HP. Nice. And now we're back to just two. Cool. I'm going to put the Will thing away because I don't super need it right now. I'm not really wearing Terra Steel armor. Not that I can't. Not that I can't. But I do love me my Dark Steel. I do. Terra Steel's great, though. Don't, don't, don't think I'm wrong about that, right? Um, machine needs more energy. Boo! Boo, we're gonna have to do the rubber mallet thing. But we've got enough red matter because we got it as a reward, so that's cool. But let's rubber mallet you, um, you know. Working disabled. I'm gonna fill this up just so that he's full with his 10,000 essence. We'll let these batteries recharge. And as you can see in the top there, we're getting some RF or EU. Once those batteries are fully recharged, we should be able to easily make two more and we'll be fine. Now let's come over here and do this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Osmeridium, one, two, three, four. And now we just need, now we just need to put you guys away. I'm gonna put this stuff away too. I don't need it cooking right now because I can't leave that running all the time anymore because I switched it to EV tier. I might move it back up to the HV spot. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, chorus fruit flower thingy. And we're ready to rock. Boom. Now it's going to need a lot of power. Like a real lot of power. But we'll be fine. Yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty. All right. Coming in at 95%. So, that feels like a good wrapping up point for the episode. We got the artifact so that we can go visit Aurelia. How cool is that? So we have a whole new planet to explore with new resources that are available to us and lots of other loots, probably new dungeons and other things. Look at that. Quest completed. The Dark Star of Aurelia. That gets us another uh, little, little reward that we can place in the world here. Look at that. Cool. Oh. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, so now um, you'll find high-end materials such as Nakwita and Abundant Platinum here. Additionally, this world has conditions that could allow you to summon the legendary Ender Chicken, which may prove useful. That sounds terrifying. Uh, that sounds terrifying, but we'll probably do it. I, I think the only other time I fought the Ender Chicken was in Stone Block 2, right? Isn't that the only other mod pack that I've seen Ender Chicken in, Stone Block 2? There might be other mod packs that it's in, but have I fought him in anything else? No. I don't even remember. I remember it being a tricky fight, and I remember there being nuances to it. I just don't remember much else. <laughs> I don't remember much else. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But there's probably dungeons and stuff to explore. So at the very least, we'll explore next episode. Hopefully there's a dungeon we can check out. Um, definitely some more resources, so that'll be cool. But for now, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and check out the Dark Star of Aurelia. All right, guys, take it easy.